Welcome to the RBC Sunday School Rewind. This is where we review the Sunday School lesson for each week. This week, our lesson was sharing hope and courage, and our scripture came from Luke, the first chapter, verses 36 through 45, and verse 56. Our key verse came from Luke, the first chapter, verses 41 and 42a, and it reads, when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice, she exclaimed, blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. Our lesson today was led by our very own Deacon Robert Booker. So I'm going to turn it over to Deacon Booker for us to give us some background on the lesson, as well as some of the key points that he covered in today's lesson. Deacon Booker. Good afternoon. Uh, our lesson today, uh, sharing hope and courage, was, uh, well, the lesson itself started, it was a lesson about two women, one young, one old, uh, Mary and Elizabeth, as they were uh, faced with an assignment given to them by God. An assignment they had not had before, but they leaned on each other for hope and encouragement, doing something they had never had before, had a child. And they were able to grow through their faith. God had chosen faithful women to do this. And they were faithful the entire way through. They brought into the light, they brought into the world Jesus Christ and John the Baptist. And we know how important uh, Jesus Christ was and his herald, John the Baptist. And so as we move forward and we look at God can do anything. He can take people who can't have children. He can take people who never had relations and he can make whatever he wants, good things. Through the Holy Spirit, we are blessed with a conduit to God where we can get anything done. And he gave them to each other so that after they had uh, started on this uh, road, they were able to lean on each other, help each other, show each other uh, compassion and love. And that also shows that you don't have to be uh, pregnant. You, you, as a Christian, you always have the Holy Spirit that you can lean on. You also have people in the church you can lean on. And since you're there, people in the church can lean on you. Mutual encouragement, mutual hope, mutual satisfaction of this. God is there to, to, to guide us, to fill us, to use us to do his bidding in any way. And it's possible for each one of us. All we have to do is open our hearts to God and not be rebellious. And when called on, to go ahead and move forward. God doesn't give us anything that's going to hurt us or destroy us. It's only for the betterment of everybody and his way, which is the betterment of everybody. So as we step away from this, we look at the Christmas coming. We look at the reason for the season, Jesus Christ. We look at what was given, um, not just Mary and uh, Elizabeth, given there, they're all into it, the faith, but we know uh, the importance of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, that we could have salvation. That's what this all leads to, our salvation. We celebrate at this time the birth of Jesus Christ, who brought salvation to the entire world. That's what we as Christians celebrate, what we love and we thank God for. Amen. So one of the things that uh, stood out to me about today's lesson is the fact that God also not only sent Mary to Elizabeth, but confirmed what was placed inside Mary with that divine encounter. And so one of the things that we can take and look at is wherever God sends us, whatever God uh, places a plan in our lives, we can have this confirming word that God is going to send us our Elizabeth to confirm what he placed in us and to also send help if we have to be Elizabeth to someone I just wanted to 
uh, make a comment regarding our lesson today on the fact that God is such a wonder. He is a God that knows the plans that he has for us. And he says it in Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the plans I have for you. So when he looked at Mary and Elizabeth and the plan he wanted those women to do something for him, he laid it out for them, or even though they were afraid, even though they had never experienced something like that before, they followed God's plan through the angel Gabriel and brought forth those two sons. One was to pave the way for the Christ that was to come, and Christ came and he delivered his task, which was to live among us, died on the cross, and he rose again. That was the perfect plan for our salvation, and I'm so glad he had a plan. So we have to be grateful for the God that we serve. Praise the Lord. Uh, uh, in verse, I, I believe it was uh, verse 41, uh, when the Lord had silenced Zachariah's mouth, uh, the comment that was made was that uh, when God has an assignment uh, for your life, that uh, it's, it's for you and it's for you to hold on to the faith. Just like Mary, she held on to what God said and she didn't let anything deter, deter her. Just like Elizabeth, Elizabeth was with child and God had to close Zachariah's mouth so that he could uh, not be a distraction. And uh, so we find that in our lives sometimes we'll have people that don't uh, can't bless you in, in that blessing. And uh, we find that um, God will silence those people because he wants us to continue um, to have faith, to believe what he said he is going to do. Amen? Amen. Well, that was a great lesson, Deacon Booker. I want to thank you for walking us through those scriptures. And that's our Sunday School Rewind for this week. So as we are all about our week, as we have the Christmas holiday coming up upon us, and we're going to be in contact with lots of different people, I encourage you to take this lesson and to encourage someone else. Um, both in this particular lesson, we find that Gabriel came and spoke to Mary to encourage her about the unexpected life-changing experience she was about to have, which then caused Mary to go to Elizabeth and they were able to encourage one another. So I'm sure we don't have to look far. We can find someone that we can encourage and uh, we can uh, prayerfully, what we need to do is just pray for the Holy Spirit to lead God and direct us. And hopefully we can encourage someone spiritually as well as physically or financially if that's what we need to do during this coming week. So thank you again for joining us. Uh, make sure you look for us on YouTube and subscribe to our channel so that uh, when we uh, post a new video, you're one of the first to know. We thank you for joining us and we look forward to you joining us again on the RBC Sunday School Rewind on next week.